Hi everyone, who's from Schoolbusters, and today we've got our third video on the uh, TTKs in Battlefield 2042. So here we've got the DMRs, so we've got the, uh, the DM7, the SVK, and the VCAR, or the Vicar as we like to call it. Uh, and first off you'll notice is the Vicar's got quite a good time to kill on the body shots in the first 10 metres, but drops away after that for some reason. Doesn't make much sense to me unless you like a... I don't know, it's a close semi-automatic weapon, but that's not really that forgiving when you use it because you've got a lower rate of fire, say, compared to an MP7. But anyway, uh, yeah, it, the, the Vicar's got a good time to kill, similar to the SVK, up to that 10 metre range. Then it drops away to the DM7, and then it drops away further once it gets to that 30 metre range. The DM7 has got a relatively low... Time to kill, I think it's the same as the SVAR, but it does have a decent range, so it goes up to 75 metres before it drops off again to 0.6 metres. I think that's like three three shots to kill. And the SVK uh, is a really, really good time, it's got a good time to kill. Two bullets to the body, um, but it's just not that great with the handling, it feels very heavy to use, so it just it, it, it has its quirks and balances. So, if you like going for long range shots, SVK is good. If you're not too fussed about being in that side, that uh, 30 meter range, the Vickers a really good gun to go for. And we'll move on to the headshots. So, we've got the Vicar quite down low here. It's below 0 0.2 seconds, so it's a very, very good time to kill when you're getting headshots. So, if you're coming into a room and you've got good aim and agile aim you could pick off a load of people very very quickly with a vcar uh the dm 7 is good as well it's just a bulkier weapon and then the svk same as the headshot uh body shots to be honest i think it's two two bullets to kill to the body straight across no damage drop off so the vcar outside that 10 meter range goes up to the svk so dm 7's got a bit of the edge over it up to 75 meters but then they both come together after 75 meters and don't forget this is headshot so you've got to have a really really good aim to be pulling these off uh so yeah i hope this helps uh we've got one more video coming uh on ttks before we move on to attachments uh and that'll be just comparing the weapons across the board like the best ones that we think are out there at the moment so yeah tune in subscribe and we'll see you all next time